Hey folks, welcome back. We're gonna mix a tune today. Uh, this is a solo song. It's a real kind of quick kind of mix kind of thing. Uh, the last couple of videos I've done have taken a while because they're kind of involved and I thought it would be good to just go through a, a simple guitar and vocal mix. And so what we have here, we have three tracks. We have a guitar track, a vocal, and a room, and that's it. It's just a simple singer-songwriter setup. And I kind of want to go through this process of just doing this, you know, as you would at home. Uh, so I might go kind of fast, and uh, I apologize for that. If I, if I lose anybody, just leave some comments. I'll explain what I'm doing. The first thing I want to do, I'm going to take a listen to this track called Acoustic Guitar. Now, this is recorded live all at one time. Uh, one person, and we have this acoustic guitar microphone that's actually a stereo. They're actually two uh, small condenser microphones uh, at the guitar. And so you, what you'll hear is vocal bleed into that mic. And the same goes for the vocals here in a second. But the, the guitar part will sound like this. Okay, now if I listen to the vocals... So, gonna take my time, gonna kiss you slow. Okay, now the room microphone is kind of, you know, set far away. It's also, uh, it's a stereo condenser mic. And I know that sounds kind of low, but what I'm doing right here is I've got the main track. Well, the main track to me would be the vocals, but this guitar track here, I've actually got it pulled down and gained a little bit, and I'm gonna walk through this real fast because I think there's a lot of confusion out there among folks about what's going on with gain staging. So if you're recording something, and, and in this case there's an acoustic guitar, you know, the singer is playing the acoustic guitar and singing. If you have a signal coming into your interface and you're watching the meters on the interface, that's giving you an input level. And so if you're not peaking and it sounds okay, you're good to go. Because once we get into the recording environment, and whether it's a, a DAW like Pro Tools or Logic or Cubase or Luna in this case, uh, then we will start looking at specifics of levels. And in this case here, uh, we have this down at about 6.5, I think, right now. But I'm going to put it back to where it was recorded. So here's the level that it was recorded at. And if I pull this view meter up here, we can kind of watch the level. That's fine right there, but when we get to the louder part here, gonna kiss you slow. that's too much level. And what we can do is we can simply grab, come up here to the gain, uh, the trim part here. I can pull this down. I'll put, a, put it back where it was at 6.5-ish. And now let's look at that level again. I'm actually, you know, I could probably put more level into it, but uh, they do get louder at the end here. And so, yeah, right around in there, that's, you know, it's fine. That gives me plenty of headroom to work with and uh, to send downstream to the mix bus and to other, other effects. So that's a quick way of looking at gain staging. I've done that, and I've done that with the uh, guitar. I've also done it with the vocals and the room so that they are all sitting in, in a good space. We can take a look at the vocal right fast. I'll pull that VU meter up here and let me get to her section here. Gonna kiss you slow. Yeah. I'm gonna kiss you slow. And that's totally cool. You know, it's hovering. You know, it, it's basically averaging at the loudest parts around the zero. And that's given me plenty of headroom to work with things. Okay, so with that. Okay, it's pretty simple. I'm not using very much of that room uh, because I, I think it's going to sound better with a reverb on it. But the room is there for a little bit of space in the background. What I do want to make sure I'm paying attention to, though, is the phase relationship between the close mics of the vocals and the guitar. So let's check those right fast. I'm just going to solo those two, and we're going to check them with the phase button. There's two ways to do it. I can either use the phase buttons up here in the utility, or I can use the phase buttons down here on the, uh, the fader. 
So I'm going to say that the vocal is what I want things to be, you know, compared to. So I'm going to leave it alone. But the vocal is important, the most important part, right? So I'm going to test the acoustic guitar against it by switching it out of phase to see how it sounds. And while I can, and I'll kiss you slow, even if my heart is breaking, I won't let it show. And it's definitely in phase right now. And maybe you might need to put on headphones to hear that a little better. But when I switch this to uh, inverted polarity of the phase here, you will hear this thin sound where things just sound wrong. And um, here we go. And while I can, and I'll kiss you slow, even if my heart is breaking, I won't let it show. And if, if you notice, all the low end goes away. And while I can, and I'll kiss you slow, even if. My heart is breaking. I and it comes back when I put it back uh, where it was. So those are definitely in phase. I'm going to uh, pull this up a little bit on the room and see if that's in phase. So the same process. I'm going to come over here to the room. I'm going to hit this uh, phase button. Kiss you slow, even if my heart is breaking, I won't let it show. And if I'm sick with worry, got a lot on my mind, I'm going to kiss you slowly. That one's a little harder to hear, but it sounds better the way it is uh, right now. And while I can, and I'll kiss you. There's some comb filtering happening in some of those words, which is normal for a room mic. Um, that's just part of the space that's happening there. And uh, But when I switch it out of phase... And while I can, and I'll kiss you slow, even if my heart is breaking, I won't... Let I lose all the low end and the body out of it. Uh, so let's go back. I'm going to undo, 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 and put it back where it was. There we go. So now all three of those tracks are in phase, so I'm ready to go. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to put some tape on there. So what I'm using here is the Studer A800, and I have it set to 900 uh, tape formula, plus six. Everything else is standard. And while I can, and I'll kiss you slow, even if my heart is breaking, I won't let it show. And if I'm sick with worry, got a lot on my mind, I'm going to kiss you slowly, going to take my... Time is just and now, since we have this option of using console, uh, I'm going to do that right fast. So on the guitar track, I'm going to use the API Vision console. On the input, I'm using the uh, high pass filter. I'm cutting off the super low end up to maybe, uh, looks like 28 hertz maybe. I don't know, it's just a guess. So I've got that going on. On the dynamic section here, let's take a look at what's going on with this. And while I can, and I'll kiss you slow. You'll notice that my heart is breaking. I'm not let it show. You'll notice that it's not doing a lot of compression until the loud sections. Let me get to a louder part here, and you'll see that the compression comes in a little bit. Kiss you slow. Right there. I'm gonna kiss you. The reason for that is that I don't really want to squash this performance. It sounds really good the way that she's playing and singing. So those loud peaks are really responding to her vocals getting bled into the uh, the guitar mic. The settings are pretty normal here. I've got the attack on the normal uh, attack speed. Uh, threshold is just grabbing those high parts. Ratio is around 4 to 1. And I'm using the old style feedback, which gives it a kind of an older uh, sound. There's plenty of videos on how that works and why it works that way on the API Vision, so I won't go through that. And I've got a kind of a fast release just to get it out of the way. Kiss you slow. And you can see it just dips away right there after that peak. I'm gonna kiss you slow. Okay, let me turn that up and solo it, and we'll take a listen to just what's going on with that. Kiss you slow. So as compression will do, it's taking the lower level information and pulling it up a little bit. It's taking the higher level information and pulling it down a little bit, just kind of tucking it away into, into a, a uniform sound. Okay, so on the EQ, I have opted to use the 560 EQ. It has a little more control over it, and I am pulling down some low end on the, around the 31 hertz here. But I have actually boosted a little bit on the 125 area, just a tiny bit. Even a little bit of boost down there, but I'm pulling out that honky 250 area. That is a problem area in every mix I've ever done 
I just pull it away a little bit. Everything clears up and I'm adding some top end. That's all there is to this. So I've got, I'm not even adding any gain to it. I'm just using the high pass. I've got a little bit of compression going on and a little bit of EQ happening there. And so let's move on, on the vocals. Kiss you slow. Okay, so what's going on here? I am doing the same thing. I'm rolling off some of the low end, then I'm feeding it into the dynamics. Actually, I'm feeding it into the, um, actually I'm feeding it into the EQ first because I also on the guitar, I've, I've clicked the pre-dynamic, um, pre-dynamics option to go before the dynamics. That's something that I just prefer to do. So the dynamics here are the same idea. I'm using the fast attack here though. I want to grab those peaks of her singing and then pull them away again real fast because the release is pretty fast here. And uh, again, I'm using the old style and let's listen to that without compression. Kiss you slow. I'm gonna kiss you slow. And now with. Kiss you slow. I'm gonna kiss you slow. Very good. Okay, now the EQ, same idea. I haven't done much here. This is a, it's a great sounding microphone that was used. And so I boosted a little bit of the 125 area. Left pretty much everything else alone, but pulled out the 4K because 4K is very harsh usually on my ear. And I pulled up a little bit at 6, 16K because that's a little bit of the air at the top. Now let's do it without EQ and then I'll turn the EQ on. Kiss you slow. Now with. I'm gonna kiss you slow. Yeah, it's much more tame that way. So now with those two tracks going. Kiss you slow. Okay, on the room, there's not much going on here. I've got a high pass at 30. I probably could have gone higher. I don't need much of that low information for the room sound. The dynamics, I have them on, but I'm not even sure I'm using them. Let me go to a loud section and see if I even used them. No, it's not even triggering. It may trigger at the end, but it's just using uh, the, the fast uh, attack, the old style feedback. Um, yeah, medium knee, four to one ratio. Pretty simple. It's got a medium release, and uh, it's just uh, tucking away the transients. On the EQ, though, I'm using the 550, and I am only changing one thing. I'm putting some air frequencies in above 16K by about 2 dB. That's not much. On the inserts here, let's look at what I'm doing here on each channel. I have, uh, I'm going to get rid of these uh, views. We don't need those anymore. Okay, so here on the inserts, on the API, I have each one at kind of at the top of the list, except the vocals, because I want to use this de -esser even before I use that channel strip. And the reason why is because some of those are pretty harsh. Kiss you slow. I'm gonna kiss you slow. Let me turn that off, and we'll listen to it without the de -esser. Kiss you slow. I'm gonna kiss you slow. Yeah, they'll take your head off after after listening to it for a while. So turning that on helps a good bit. Kiss you slow. Yeah, evens it out a little bit. I'm gonna kiss you slow. Now we already have a pretty decent mix. So at this point in time, what I would normally do is come down here to the outputs, create a mix bus. I took, I'll put the uh, Neve summing on it. That's what I don't, I don't own the, uh, the API right now, but I, I know that I like the Neve summing. So that's what I'll turn on. Kiss you slow. And I know that I'm going to want a tube type compressor. I could have used the very Mew. Um, I prefer the, the Fairchild to it. It's got some mojo. Kiss you slow. Kiss you slow. Cool. All right, so that's gluing everything together. Now I could have used the uh, 2500 that comes in the channel or the console emulation, but to me, the 2500 is a very modern sounding compressor and that's just not the sound I'm going for in this, uh, in this mix. So easy decision. I just put the Fairchild on there and we're good to go. 
we have a pretty good mix so far. I'm, you know, not much else needs to be done. So the rest of this, I'm going to be talking about sort of tucking things in and making them a little better. The next process on the guitar is this Soothe plugin, which is going to tame a few harsh strum parts. Let me get to a section here that's a little bit different in the bridge. Now, if you notice my controls here, I have this at about 25%, and it's not doing much anyway. It's just pulling down some of the harsh pick strums. It's, it's, a, it's reacting mostly to her vocals, which is kind of cool. I've done the same thing basically on the vocal track where I have the same setup. I think I just copied it over. And I will be the last one standing when it's time to go. Oh, 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 oh. Cool. Now with everything so far turned on. And I will be the last one standing when it's time to go. Right. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a compressor on the uh, last section of this little chain of effects here on the vocals. Because there are certain parts that get a little bit too loud. And there are certain parts that are still too low. And that's what compressors are for. So it's going to bring up the low information. It's going to bring down the higher information. I'm using the LA-3A because it's sort of like an LA-2A but cleaner. And I be the last one standing when it's time to go oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. and you can tell it's only doing a tiny bit right it's only reacting to the very high uh, peaks okay moving on I want to, I'm gonna add a reverb the reverb I'm adding here is the EMT 140. I'm going to turn on some summing for that, and on the send, I'm just using a little bit on the vocal mic and the acoustic mic. And I will be the last one standing when it's time to go. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, just a little bit and it, I like to listen to that very closely in the parts that are quiet and the parts that are loud so if we go back to the beginning here hold your hand while I can and I'll kiss you slow even if my heart is breaking I won't let it show and if I'm sick with worry got a lot on my mind I'm gonna kiss you slowly gonna take my and time is just another thing come in Another going out the door And you were just another of my lovers But I'll never love another no more Yeah, it's just building a little space around it And it's very good at that, by the way The, the EMT plate, just amazing So in the next video what I'm going to do is we'll, we'll do one more process of, of reverb And it's a very specific type of reverb that I want to go through And then we'll do some EQ on the, on the two bus there And uh, wrap it up a quick and easy video on a singer songwriter so uh, thanks so much for watching it means a lot to me please hit the like please hit the subscribe if this has helped you in any way and uh, more videos are coming very soon